they went to Capernaum. And when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching, because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. Just then, a man in their synagogue who was possessed by an impure spirit cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Be quiet, said Jesus sternly. Come out of him. The impure spirit shook the man violently and came out of him with a shriek. The people were all so amazed that they asked each other, What is this? A new teaching and with authority. He even gives orders to impure spirits and they obey him. News about him spread quickly over the whole region of Galilee. Mark chapter 1 verses 21 to 28. I'm standing in front of Bognor Station and this is one of the Christmas decorations that the Business Improvement District and Bognor Town Council put up this year and it was absolutely terrific. What a triumph! There's been sound and light projection on the Santander building and this was lit with loads and loads and loads of individual little lights. It looked amazing. It's no longer on now because we're through the 12 days of Christmas. We've just had Epiphany and it is all finished. For me, I continue celebrating Christmas until the 2nd of February, <laughs> Candlemas, but that's another story. So every single little bulb reminds me of Jesus coming into the world as the light of the world. The darkness cannot overcome Jesus. You know, we see that in our passage today. Jesus is in the synagogue, he's preaching, and people are amazed at his teaching. You know, back in the day, the rabbis would just kind of quote other rabbis. Rab they would say, oh, well, Rabbi Gamaliel says, or Rabbi Hillel says. Jesus is different. He says, but what I tell you is this. Jesus spoke as one who had authority. Now, that's interesting because the word authority and the word author has the same root. And Jesus is the word made flesh. He spoke everything into existence. So no wonder his speaking has authority because he is the original author of everything. Well, he's in the synagogue and he gets heckled by an evil spirit. Now, for me, I believe in a supernatural, personal God who is all love. So logically, I also believe in a supernatural, personal evil that is all hate, Satan. But I needn't fear him because Jesus is more powerful than Satan. He has overcome him. He just speaks and he exercises. He throws him out of this man. So he is then free. That is the power of Jesus' voice. His words have authority and do business. It was the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King who said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can. And hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can. Father, thank you so much that Jesus has the authority and power over Satan. Thank you 
that his words still today have authority because he is the author of everything. Thank you that I can trust Jesus in this dark world to bring his light. Amen.